there artists welcome to your galaxy painting tutorial this is a really fun one I do it with all ages and you can learn to add little details such as stars um, and some texture in using salt this is a wonderful tutorial to relax you but also to learn how to um, mix colors uh, using watercolor, how to achieve some wet on wet effects, and also how to create some see-through layers in your work. So should be fun and also a little bit relaxing to paint these. One thing that I really love about painting the galaxy is each time it turns out differently. And so you want to, you know, really try to achieve some really pigmented areas and then some really, really light areas and you'll notice that it starts to really look the way that the galaxy actually appears. So for this project, you're gonna need a flat brush, a round brush, and possibly a second round brush that's a little bit thinner, if you like that. I like to tape off my piece in advance. So I've got my washi tape here which I like, it doesn't tear my, it doesn't tear my watercolor paper. And if you want, you can let it be taped to the table or to your desk. But you may end up wanting to move your paper around a bit later. So we're ready to paint. Grab your flat brush and you want to get it just damp. So you see I'm taking a little bit of water off. And then I'm going to wet out my whole entire piece. This is really small, by the way probably just like a four by six. So I cut my paper down to create this small. You'll find that it can take you about 15 to 20 minutes to really build up all the layers that you wanna see when you're painting. So I always start with a dark color, but I never start with black. So I always start with like a purple or a blue, and you're gonna go in so you're gonna go in with your round brush and you're gonna soak up plenty of paint. Just start somewhere, ooh. And if you've put enough paint on your paper, it's so fun to watch it really spread. So using maybe a little bit of a different blue. And tapping, tapping with the end of your round brush tapping the color into the galaxy. Okay. Next, you take a purple or violet color, and if you have an extra little tray or a plate, you can always use that for mixing. But what I want you to notice is the way that the colors really start blending. And I absolutely love doing this with watercolor paints because I feel that you really just build up the pigment and the hue. You can also use um, your brush if you wanna make some lighter areas. So if you wanna take some off, try that because it's a good, uh, practice to get a sense of how to lighten spaces with your watercolor. So you can actually tap your brush and you can make some of those whiter areas of the galaxy. So that just went from my darkest area to my lightest area. Okay. Once you're happy with an area, if there's any area that you're really happy with, they are not going to paint on for a while, you can sprinkle in just the tiniest, it's very light just a tiny bit of the salt, a little bit. I only did the edges, I'm still really working. Now I wanna think about um, maybe a little black. 
with purple. So making like a dark purple or a dark blue. Ooh, that's really dark. Okay. So I usually go in with black last. So I'm going to make it a purplish black first. Because I like to do my brighter colors first. So for this corner, I'll just do the black in this corner only. And it's an inky purplish black. So you can do any uh, dark color you want and you can allow it to just, just tap it in. And when I do this, I just avoid anything that I've already done that I really, really like, that I really, really want to keep. I try not to go over it when I'm doing this. If there's any areas that are just kind of okay, that's a nice area to work on a little bit, layering up the paint. So now my strategy over here is to kind of weave in a color, the really bright lemon yellow. And mine's getting a tiny bit muddy, so I'm gonna clean it little yellow maybe i'll just do yellow green actually i'm not going to do orange on this one yellow green pretty bright can go here make sure your corner is still nice and wet now i know purple and green can make a brown so i'm going to be careful here to just go right next to the lavender. And then maybe I'll just this green, uh, this blue green over here was like cerulean. I might just go back in and finish with that. Yeah, pretty. There we go. I'm just using the tip of the brush to I just remembered I like to sometimes tap in some yellows it can look like stars from far away stars so now if you have again any puddles you can salt them mine are mostly at the edges of my galaxy right now I'm okay with that I'm okay with that now this is a good time if I want to go in with my dark inky color just give it a little more depth in the solar system you can do that a new blue almost. I think it's the cobalt that I started with. But it looks so, so bright now. And really pretty. Now I want you to grab your gold if you have gold or a pearlescent white can look really nice I want you to wet it out and just tap in some gold into one corner maybe I might try the white too because I like to go in with my other white at the very end I almost need to change my water but I'm just gonna go for it get plenty of white this is pearlescent white that comes in the Kurataki, the Japanese set. You can use either one. Then, ooh, that's pretty. It almost looks gray. I like the stars kind of clustered together. Nice. And I like some big splats and some really small splats. The 
final thing that we can do. Yay. I'm glad I have a tiny bit of white left. This is just like a little, so the last thing to do, and I do like to do it while it's still a little, little wet, unless you want really round stars, like that. I want to go in those areas and I want to leave some bigger white stars. This reminds me of Sumi Nagashi, which if you've never watched my Sumi Nagashi video, it's a really fun marbling tutorial that I did a few years back. I actually want to do more of those tutorials soon. But you can just do some big stars and you can do some really, really light stars. Congratulations, you can let it dry. You did a beautiful galaxy. You can come back to this. You can try it from time to time. The result will always be different, but hopefully you feel really relaxed and your mind feels focused after painting uh, this tutorial today. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe so that you will find out every time I post a new video or a new tutorial for you. See you soon.